talk about Newton's third law and the physics of walking. First, Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that for every force, there's a reaction force. So we'll label it like this, F equals negative F prime. Well, what's also very important is that F and F prime, they're acting on two different objects. So, for example, well, let's just take this pen and I'll just drop it. It accelerates and hits the table. Well, in order for an object to accelerate, there has to be a net force on that object. Well, what is the force that caused the acceleration? It's obvious. Gravity. Gravity pulls the pen down. Boom. What's the reaction force? The reaction force is that the pen pulls the earth up. Not very much, because the earth is you know, orders of magnitude. 25 orders of magnitude, more massive than the pen. But that is the reaction force. The earth pulls on the pen. The reaction force is that the pen pulls on the earth. Now, the pen obviously accelerates. The earth does not accelerate. And the reason is, well, in this case, there's only one force. So the acceleration of the pen is equal to the force divided by the mass of the pen. However, for earth, the force is divided by the mass of the Earth, which is, you know, humongous. I mean, I can't draw it. It's, it's, it's bigger than everything. So the acceleration is teensy tiny. In fact, it's so small, it's not even measurable. But that is the force reaction force pair. Now, let's talk about walking. We all do it, but very few of us understand how it works. Well, I'm standing here, and now I'm going to start walking. Now, in order to go from just standing here with no speed and then up to some speed, there has to be acceleration. In order for there to be acceleration, there has to be a force. What is the force that propelled me forward as I started walking? Well, all I feel is myself pushing the ground that way. And that's exactly what's going on. So here's the ground, and here's my feet. Now, my foot pushed the ground that way, and the reaction force is that the earth pushes me this way. Because if I push the ground that way, the reaction force is that the ground pushes me this way. Newton's third law. If I were to draw my free body diagram, ah, let's give me some arms there. If I want to draw my free body diagram, well, of course we have the force of gravity pointing down, otherwise known as your weight. We also have the normal force, equal and opposite to the force of gravity. And I know it's equal and opposite because I'm not accelerating. Note, these are not Newton's third law. These are not force reaction forces. These are just two forces that cancel each other out. I know they're not reaction forces because they're acting on the same object. Now, I push the ground this way. The reaction force is that the ground propels me this way. And that is the free body diagram for me. The free body diagram for the ground would contain this force. You have a force this way, therefore you have acceleration, and thus you can start walking.